six trumpets have been blown. Revelation 8 When he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and to them was given seven trumpets. Then another angel, having a golden censer, came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints ascended before God from the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and threw it to the earth. And there were noises, thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake. So the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded. And hail and fire followed, mingled with blood, and they were thrown to the earth. In World War I, bombs were thrown from planes. And a third of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass was burned up. In World War I, a scorched earth policy was used by both the Germans and the Russians. Then the second angel sounded. And something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood. This clearly refers to the first atomic bomb dropped on Japan at Hiroshima, as big as a mountain and burning with fire. And a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. Irvin Baxter teaches that in World War II one third of the ships were sunk. I have researched this and found this to be correct. And most of the passengers and crews of these ships perished, confirming. And a third of the living creatures in the sea died. Then the third angel sounded. And a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch. One of the investigations into Chernobyl is called the Torch Report. And it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood. Chernobyl is Russian for Wormwood. A third of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died from the water because it was made bitter. As you can see, about one third of the area was affected by the radiation fallout from Chernobyl. The Chernobyl disaster was the worst nuclear power plant accident in history. It is predicted that the final death toll from radiation exposure will be about 4,000 people. Then the fourth angel sounded. And a third of the sun was struck, and a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of them were darkened. A third of the day did not shine, and likewise the night. Clearly this means that there is a one third reduction of light during the day and during the night. On June 15, 1991, Mount Pinatubo erupted causing a measured reduction of brightness of the sun, moon and the stars. NASA recorded a global dimming of 0.3 which equates to one third of the brightness being lost with the sun, moon and the stars. The atmosphere had an optical depth of 0.3 which equates to a third of the light not reaching the Earth's surface. The three woes 
I looked and I heard an eagle flying through the midst of heaven saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth because of the remaining blasts of the trumpet of the three angels who are about to sound. After the 9-11 attack, George W. Bush spoke to many about the impending danger of Iraq, Al-Qaeda and other terrorist groups. As the eagle is the symbol of the United States, this event is quite symbolic of the eagle saying, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Revelation 9 Then the fifth angel sounded. And I saw a star fallen from heaven to earth. This is similar to Jesus seeing Satan fall from heaven in Luke 10.18. To him was given the key to the bottomless pit. This is Saddam Hussein gaining control of Kuwait's oil wells. And he opened the bottomless pit and smoke arose out of the pit like the smoke of a great furnace. So the sun and the air were darkened because of the smoke of the pit. This is describing exactly what happened when the Kuwait oil wells were set alight starting January 16, 1991. The oil from deep beneath the earth was burning creating an enormous amount of smoke from the 610 oil fires. Then out of the smoke locusts came upon the earth and to them was given power as scorpions of the earth have power. The locusts are a good description of army helicopters. Just like scorpions are equipped with stingers on the end of their tails, helicopters were often equipped with stinger missiles. On the 17th of January 1991, Operation Desert Storm, a war against Iraq commenced. Operation Desert Storm was called by the Italians Operazione Locusta. Locusta is Italian for locust. They were commanded not to harm the grass of the earth or any green thing or any tree, but only those men who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. This refers to the introduction of precision guided munitions, smart bombs to minimise damage to anything that is not the target but they were not given authority to kill them but to torment them for five months. In August 1990, Operation Desert Shield was put in place for five and a half months. During this time, there was a build-up of troops and defence of Saudi Arabia, but no battles. Their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man. It has taken a while for me to understand that the torment of a scorpion, particularly in Israel where they have the Death Stalker or Israeli Yellow Scorpion, is not necessarily the pain, but the fear of dying. In those days men will seek death and will not find it. They will desire to die and death will flee from them. Suicide bombers and other martyrs match this description. They desire to die, killing others for their reward in heaven. When intercepted, these would-be suicide bombers fail to succeed with their missions. The shape of the locusts was like horses prepared for battle. The shape of horses prepared for battle is lean, with only items of war attached. On their heads were crowns of something like gold. At the time that this was written, the radiant crown was quite popular. Helicopter propellers are quite similar. And their faces were like the faces of men. This can easily be understood as the faces of men being visible in the helicopters. And they had hair like women's hair. This is a reference specific to Apache helicopters. Apache Indians did not cut their hair as adults. 
and their teeth were like lion's teeth. Apache helicopters had mouths with sharp teeth painted on them. And they had breastplates like breastplates of iron. And the sound of their wings was like the sound of chariots with many horses running into battle. A good description of helicopter propeller noise. They, helicopters, had tails like scorpions and they were stings in their tails. Their power was to hurt men five months. On the 17th of January 1991, Operation Desert Storm, a war to free Kuwait from the Iraqi invasion commenced. The campaign lasted five weeks, not months. Sometimes the Bible uses another time unit in prophecy, such as a day for a year. Here a month has been used for a week. And they, the Iraqi army, had a king over them, the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, means destruction, but in Greek, he has the name Apollyon, means destroyer. The name Saddam means one who frequently causes collisions, powerful collider, one who causes a collision that has bad results, powerful confronter, one who frequently crashes, or destroyer. One woe is past, behold, still two more woes are coming after these things. Then the sixth angel sounded. And I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. The four countries on the Euphrates River system are Turkey, Syria, Iran and Iraq. So the four angels who had been prepared for the hour and day and month and year were released to kill a third of men. Elsewhere in the New Testament the Greek word anthropos is translated men and not mankind. Men is the correct translation which changes the meaning of the scriptures. God has taught me that the hour and day and month and year relate to the times that the four angels are released. On about the 18th of July, God spoke to me and said the second angels would be released next Thursday, the 24th of July 2014. The news event from that day was the election of Iraq's new president, Fuad Masoum. I currently understand the following. The first angel is Isis, Syria. The hour is midnight. The second angel is Iraq, or Kurds. And the day is Thursday. The third angel, the month is December 2014. The fourth angel is the year, in 2015. The third and fourth angels are likely to be Iran and Turkey. After the Iraq war, the USA and other countries have been keeping a control on the warring factions in the Middle East. With their withdrawal, these warring factions have been released. I became very aware of this with the recent invasion of Iraq by the terrorist group of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, ISIS. It is interesting to note that they have taken the name of ISIS, an Egyptian goddess which has the physical form of an angel. Now this is where it is important to understand that scripture says were released to kill a third of men, and not a third of mankind. This is a region where they war against each other, and not the rest of the world. 
It is a war between different religions in these countries where ISIS terrorists have a jihad to kill Shiite Muslims. The third of men is a third of the men of the region that is being spoken of in this scripture. Syria, Turkey, Iran and Iraq. Now the number of the army of the horsemen was 200 million. I heard the number of them. Islam plans to conquer countries in the world by populating it. A typical Muslim army is its population. In these countries, about 97% are Muslim. This Islamic army is 200 million. And thus I saw the horses in the vision. Those who sat on them had breastplates of fiery red, hyacinth blue and sulphur yellow. And the heads of the horses were like the heads of lions. And out of their mouths came fire, smoke and brimstone. The mode of transportation for these people is motor vehicles, which is horsepower. Note the breastplates of fiery red, hyacinth blue and sulphur yellow. By these three plagues a third of men were killed by the fire and the smoke and the brimstone which came out of their mouths. Their aim is to kill one third of men. The three plagues will probably be three types of weapon. Fire will be burning from incendiary weapons, smoke will be chemical weapons and brimstone will be explosive weapons. For their power is in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails are like serpents, having heads, and with them they do harm. In these countries, all types of vehicles are used in war to fire guns and rockets. But the rest of men, who were not killed by these plagues, did not repent of the works of their hands, that they should not worship demons and idols of gold, silver, brass, stone and wood, which can neither see, nor hear, nor walk. And they did not repent of their murders, or their sorceries, or their sexual immorality, or their thefts. As this is not a region of idols of gold, silver, brass and stone and wood, it is clearly the attitude of the rest of the world who have left this country to sort themselves out without intervention except to supply them weapons. This is like Obama's statement. The US will do our part but it is up to the Iraqis as a sovereign nation to solve their problems. Six trumpets have been blown. Are you ready for the seventh trumpet? I am coming soon. <laughs> 